Okay, y'all, I'm home. Let me quickly show y'all what I got from the grocery store because I had to go to two stores and somewhere else, so y'all know half stuff started melting. But these are all the fruits and veggies I got that have skin that we potentially eat, so I'm gonna wash all of this. Potatoes, I've already started cleaning these and drying them. They'll go over in this bowl. I got this for Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. Oat milk for my coffee. Um, I'm gonna start using this instead of Kramer. I also want to start introducing this to Malia. Um, also some juice for her, some lettuce that I need to clean, fruit that I need to cut up. My freezer literally has no rhyme or reason to the organization right now, so judge y'all mom. Got some more garlic toast. I got these little pancake things to start giving Malia some more breakfast. Y'all, the pot stickers, they have a hold on me. I like this brand better than the Target brand though. What else I get? Popsicles for the kids, salmon, turkey sausage, some high and mild chicken sausage, um, shrimp, more turkey breasts, more chicken and stuff all the way back there. I got this for smoothies. I didn't realize they were smoothie packs. So it's literally only five in there. So annoying. Then here's everything that's gonna go in the pantry area. I got me some more seaweed things because I want to make me some salmon bowls, cereal, corn chips from Sprouts. These are really good. Here, here, here I go trying to be healthy. Maple, pecan, crunch. This is actually really good. I had it before. I heard these were good and quick and easy. So my husband makes really good rice, but um, I got this for Cinco de Mayo tomorrow and I just want to see what the hype is about with the rice. Dark chocolate clusters, stuff for the tacos, more stuff for tacos. Crackers, cookies, my kids are obsessed. Focus. With these, I got four boxes, and then I also got these. Um, some coffee, more stuff. And then, y'all know I can't not go to Sprouts without getting this wine. It is called Republic of Wine, and it's Riesling. I'm gonna be packing this open today. We're gonna have spaghetti tonight. Yeah, we stopped. We stopped with the alcohol, okay? And I always have to get my Prosecco. Anyways, y'all, so I had to stop and get them kids some more shoes. Do y'all kids run through shoes like they don't have home training? Because mine do. Oh, and I also got some Greek yogurt that I want to try on Malia. This is vanilla and cinnamon. She probably gonna hate it, but I'm trying to get her more and more into eating more balanced meals, y'all, because it's just gotta come off the boobies, okay? But anyways, y'all, let me put these groceries up. I don't think there's anything else I need to come to y'all about today, but if it is, oh, y'all. <laughs> so y'all know I like glassware, right? So let me just show y'all my collection real quick. So these are all the glasses that I have. Ooh, Jesus almost dropped my camera. <laughs> so I have, you know, a variety, okay? 
from here and here, these two rows are gonna be for your alcoholic beverages. Up there is like your water type glasses and stuff, smoothies, whatever you wanna do. I have an empty row up top. So why did I go ham? CP2 had a flash sale on glassware, so I read up. So it should be here sometime this week. So y'all should see it as part of this vlog. And I got like a little ice. Girl, I'll show y'all when I get here. So I'll talk to y'all later. Hi, good people. So we just got back from Tennessee. Um, I'm grown and um, got a lot of boxes to show you guys. Our Brooklyn and sheets came in, set thingy. That's very uneventful, but I'll show it to you anyways. I don't like the yellow lighting in here. We're gonna go in the kitchen, y'all. I got a lot of glassware. <laughs> From CB2, they had a little 20% off sale and I was like, I gotta get me some more glasses. I think I told y'all that the other day. First of all, my hair, look at this. They had us in the mountains trekking and stuff, walking and walking, and y'all know I don't like to walk. So we stayed at this hotel called Moxie. Oh my God, it's such a vibe. I was supposed to do a little room tour, not because I wanted to walk down there, but I wanted y'all to see that hotel. It is so, it's definitely not a, I don't even know how to explain it. It, it was nice though, hold on. Please hold. Beginning means to learn how to walk. Look at there. Look at there. First of all, I hope it ain't broke. Nothing in here is broke. But y'all know how they do. They can't deliver jack squat without a thing broke. Come on, up, up. Let me get them all opened up and out on the countertop. I'm not going to sit here and un undo each one of these. Okay. Can I help? I was expecting something a little bit more dramatic. The ridges are on the inside, not on the outside. Let me un um, unbox and then I'll show y'all though. Okay, I got them all unboxed. I forgot the martini glasses won't be available until late May. But this is like a little ice bucket thing. My husband said he had wanted one. And when I seen this matte black one, which is really not matte black, it's shiny to me. But maybe it didn't say matte black, it said linen. But I thought this was, whoop, but I'm just playing. It's still. It's just like a little ice tray thing. As you put in. You know, if you got your little um, does this come out? It's feeling a little loose. I don't know if it comes out or not. But um to like chill wine and stuff if you want to be fancy. So I'm about to put this over there in the butler's pantry. Anyways. And then I also got these glasses. Did I need them? Absolutely not, but that's not the point. I, hold on y'all, I just looked at something. Anyways, this is so cute. It doesn't look like I already have these. It doesn't, good. And then I already showed y'all this one. The ridges are on the inside. I thought it was gonna be on the outside. These feel like if you grab them too hard, they would break, right? But these are heavier. You hear how that sounds like glass and this one sounds like I don't know. And then I got this, because this is supposed to be like a mixer. It's very small. Girl, that sounds like it's gonna break. Anyways, so if you wanted to mix like a cute little <laughs> marg or like a mojito or some type of cocktail. How much did that one cost? You're asking the wrong questions. Um, This is so cute. So you mix it up and then you're like, <laughs> And then I bought this. Um, y'all. I'm gonna get one use out of this. It's gonna be broke. This is only like fifteen dollars and twenty percent off, so it's not the end Especially of the world. If you pour ice but y'all know how I'll be talking about I want my sweet tea on my front porch. And I was like, this is very small. I could even put me some ice water in this and sit on my little catch all tray in the bedroom. I'm just thirsty. <laughs> I'm not excited about this at all. Would not recommend. Unless you're just going for pure aesthetics and you want to sit it there. But if you sit it down too hard on your countertop, you hear that? 
I'm gonna break it just for that. But this right here is so cute. Anyways, y'all. And then we have a sponsorship from Brook Linen. <laughs> I lie, y'all. It's a little sponsorship. I paid for this with my own money. I'm just speaking it into existence. Hello. Where's my scissors at? Huh? Let me get my scissors out. Hey. All right, y'all. What is all this stuff? I guess I gotta watch the video and see. You ain't gonna watch it, so you're gonna never know. Anyways, so, oh, it comes with a cute little bag. Look, Clinton, and Brooklyn. I'm gonna go grocery Brooklyn, shopping just so I can use this. Put my fruit in there. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that's that. And then it has a little, a little booklet. Okay, here are the pillowcases. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna know how this actually feels until. I put it on our bed, but I'm not gonna put these on our bed until we get our new bed, which is Monday. See, y'all see the bed in Wednesday's video, and then next Saturday, entryway table is coming. Comment down below which one do y'all want to see first, the entryway table or the dining room table and chairs? Because I'm not gonna put them in the same video. You gotta spread it, spread it out. Can't get y'all too much win video. <laughs> Anyways, okay. They actually They actually do feel really soft. Feel this. Our um. Yeah, I got the. I don't know which one did I get. The Lux set. Oh, they are soft. Can y'all even see that? And shout out to Chelsea because I told y'all in the last video she. I've seen several people recommend these, but Chelsea is the one who made me pull the trigger. If these don't feel like butter when I lay on them, Chelsea. I'm gonna call you personally. I'd be like, sis, <laughs> where's my money? I'm gonna do that. And then I got a, what is this? I, I guess this is the duvet. Oh no, that's the duvet. What is this? The sheets. Oh yeah, the flat and fitted sheet. See that? No, they're white. It, like I said, so I have to purchase the insert. I'm gonna ask her where she got it from. Mm, I see a, a blue wine in my what's her name. I ordered these for Malia's birthday, so y'all know it's all flower thing. I think these are really cute, and then I'm just gonna get some plain color ones. If I find some ones with wildflowers on them, I think I'm gonna get those. But these are also cute. I'm gonna have different types of flowers. At her what's the name? And then I also bought oh oh Lord this this little says mosaic number but y'all know those cutout numbers that you can fill with like flowers or balloons and stuff. I'm planning on filling them with bow flowers, and this would be out there somewhere. And I also have a TP down in my basement that I used in um the kids originally playroom at the last house and then I use it in Madison's room and now I don't have a use for it but it's pastel colors but I'm thinking I can turn it inside out to where it's just white and then I'm gonna put like a blanket down with the TP um, some crates filled with flowers and that's gonna be her little station where she does her little smash cake thingy so I was like all these flowers I'm about to have out there is going to create beads what is that noise For the hype. It's this little small shop I found off of Instagram. Y'all see how my husband like to act up? I was trying to get a good moment, you know, put some music over it, and he playing. 
still Mick Monster. You'll pay. Never mind. Anyway, so. Okay. I bought her some bloomers to go up under it. How do you open the thing? It's yellow? Yeah. So I thought you bought the gray one. There wasn't a gray one, it was green. Look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Do y'all see all the flowers on it? I am obsessed with this. And we got Beanie. I got her six to 12 months. Peace, her little diaper. That is so cute. Babe, look at her dress. So I told on the invitation, I told everybody like if they wanted to, to wear colors that are on the invitation. And the invitation is like <clears throat> yellow, cream, tan, greens, you know. You already know the vibes. Hey y'all, so as I was sprucing up my room, cause y'all know our bed is supposed to be coming on Monday. Um, all the stuff that I got my mama for Mother's Day, I wanted to show y'all. So like, I decided to do like a self-care package. Y'all know I've been really big on self-care packages. I probably recommend it now for every occasion because I feel like it's just something different than, like for example, my mama really likes handbags, but I feel like I always get her a handbag and there's nothing wrong with that because I personally feel like you can't have enough handbags. But I think that, <laughs> um, because she doesn't really go anywhere like that, it doesn't really make sense for me to keep getting her a handbag. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to do something that I felt like was a little bit more, I don't want to necessarily say sent sentimental, but in a way, sentimental. What is that? I just want to close it. Anyways, so I got her this nice pajama set. Y'all know I showed y'all a pajama set that I got from Target. Everything I got her is from Target. And then I also got her the Dove pomegranate. I showed y'all this in the last vlog and then also the sea kelp. So I pretty much got her all of my favorite stuff because I thought it would be nice for her to try. And then I also got her a guided journal. I think, did I show y'all my guided journal? I can't remember. But as I was reading, so the front of this says, oh, happy day. And y'all, it has some of the best stuff in here. And as I was reading through it, I was like, dang, I should've got myself one of these. But like the first thing in here, like the first two pages, it has like quotes and it says, focus on the good. What was your favorite thing about today? What made it stand out to you? Oh, let me show y'all real quick the journal that I got for myself. Y'all know I got a million and one, a million and one journals. But this one, also from Target, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it. It says guard your spirit. But this, I just wanna, whatever's on my mind, I wanna put it in here. Put it in my drawer and close it. So when I go to bed at night, peace of mind. God have not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. My granny from South Georgia used to tell that to us when we would be worried about anything. Even if we're not worried, she would she would quote that to us. Good morning, good people. Say hey, Beanie. Say hey. Hey. I don't know why your daddy gave you that ball. Anyways, y'all, as y'all can see, we are taking the bed down because our real bed, not a real bed, but a new bed, between the hours of two and four. So, just got a text message from RH. My lips are chapped. From RH saying that um, it's not gonna be here until the second half of the window. So, closer to four o'clock. But I'm excited. I really hope, number one, our current mattress fits because I did no measurements. And number two, I hope that the spacing is right because again I did no measurements but there's no way that it's bigger than this this bed right here so I'm excited but anyways oh my gosh y'all guess what Mother's Day gift I got I completely forgot to tell y'all I'm gonna insert a clip Beans start walking the day before Mother's Day ah, inserts club. yes we have a walker now she could already walk she just decided that she was gonna get up and start walking look at her All right, let me show y'all real quick. So this is, <laughs> this is what the butler's pantry is looking like right now. So y'all know I had this big gold thing sitting right there. I think it looks better with nothing being right there. I might move these plants a little bit closer together, but I'm trying to make it, this needs to go into my, let me, hold on y'all. So, um, I like how, I don't know why this looks so blurry. There we go. It has black, black, 
black and then you know the clean white with greenery in it and then y'all know we have the black handles so this is the ice bucket thing that i was telling y'all about i don't know i think it looks cute right there and then i already had y'all know i told y'all i wanted to get cocktail light books this was actually on the shelf in the loft that lets y'all know i just be buying books for the aesthetics and don't really know what they be about because <laughs> why was she in the loft so i put this one down here she don't really go with the color scheme but i think it's fine with the whole black thing right there but i think this looks cute it's not too much over here it's all it's all up guys i'm gonna shake take out see them my husband was just saying how he likes the delivery people for her age way better than tv so i'll tell you how much all right so here's what it looks like i'm gonna be honest with y'all i forgot what the bed looked like but i love it so this is what it looks like i'm afraid for that you think it's the same width anyways um this is the headboard to it so in my mind i was thinking it was only going to be this but i'm so glad it looks like this because it breaks up all of this same color but this is like a off-white linen material so we're about to put the comfort the uh what you call it thing the mattress on here and then i gotta go to target and get a duvet cover because i forgot to order one okay also it is the next morning um i got the duvet everything put on the bed the sheets and everything washed that i got from brooklyn and this is what it looks like it looks so nice and y'all know how what <laughs> y'all know how i was telling y'all um <clears throat> how these pillows actually popped up against the white sheets i completely forgot that the headboard was white as well so it really pops up against there too and i decided to do the throw up here to kind of cover up the duvet just so i don't have to worry about it being wrinkled because these actually do wrinkle um easily but let me tell y'all so lighting over here last night was our first night sleeping in the new duvet and sheets baby the duvet is just so like light and airy so the insert that i got i got it for 40 dollars from um target and honestly it works fine to me i don't have anything to compare it to because this is my first time ever using a duvet so to me it's fine um there's probably other ones out there that are better but i love it how did you like it last night sleeping in the new sheets and stuff i loved it <laughs> so today he got to take the um what's nice to the basement because they've been sitting in here since yesterday Anyways, so yeah, I like the way that the bed looks. It looks very luxurious. And I don't think I'm putting any more pillows on here. If anything, I would do two white throw pillows or um, two more white pillows. She, she ready to eat breakfast, y'all. But anyways, I'm gonna go record a reel to post before I change out of my pajamas. Um, cause I don't know, I love these pajamas. I got these from Target, the pants. Oh, let me just show y'all real quick. So this is, I think this um, nightgown is linkable now, so I'll link it. <clears throat> and then, y'all see these are so big on me, but I just, you know, put them up, tuck them in. <laughs> we can't, I can wear this outfit, honestly, anyways. Um, yeah, and this is a short sleeve. It gives me, like, vacation vibes. But yeah, I really like it. The pants were $17.99. The shirt was $14.99 or $12.99, one of the two. But I'll link everything below. Anyways, let me go finish recording my reel. Okay, y'all. So, most annoying thing ever just happened. First of all, I'm still in my PJs for the night. <laughs> I didn't even put no clothes on. Why? For what? I take my bath at night time so that I don't have to worry about trying to figure out when I'm going to be able to do it during the day with my big head baby in here. Um, but sometimes I'll do a bath or something in the morning. But not today, okay? Shower at night. Put on my nice PJs. And I've been them all die, literally. But let me just tell y'all, the most annoying thing ever happened to me today. You want to know? This is what I get. So, y'all know my brand of my rug is, I don't know if it's called Lavoy. It's L-O-L-O-I. It's on the screen. I know I'm going to put it on the screen. Anyways, so 
I found that rug at Home Goods for 300, I think, 250 maybe, 249.99, something like that. So, anyways, I don't know if you follow her on Instagram. Oh my God, her feed, her reels, everything. To her outfit, from her outfits to her house, amazing. Her name is Kristen, I think, curly hair chick. Um, and she had posted her rug a while back, and I was like, oh my gosh, where did you get your rug from? from my jaw is white and it's kind of got like a raise anyways exact same brand but at that time she didn't tell me where it was from but I was like I'm gonna go visit their website to see if they sell them this brand does not sell their rugs I guess they're just a manufacturer and they source out their stuff to different um, retailers and then they sell it because you know you can get them on Amazon and stuff too anyways long story short she finally linked the rug and I purchased it very expensive she said it was worth the money it got here today, definitely worth the right money, but guess what? Why my ish was wet? And I don't think it was the um, supplier. I think it was FedEx. Y'all already know. If y'all have been watching this channel long enough, y'all already know FedEx can go straight to HEWO because they don't care. And then not to mention they delivered my rug in front of my garage. The porch sitting right there. You couldn't walk up three stairs maybe five to put my really so I don't know if they left it out if it's been on back of the truck I don't know but literally it was it wasn't like soaking wet to where you can hear it but it was wet enough to where the tag on the back the ink of it was smeared and the tag was actually peeling off and then you know the little wooden spool thing that's in it that was wet so obviously it had gotten very wet and then it must have dried like during transit anyways i emailed them and submitted a claim form basically like <laughs> run me a dry rug because this ain't gonna work out i'm not finna i don't care i'm not finna sit here and blow dry air dry fan dry jack squat especially for the amount of money that i paid for i'm not finna do it but um here it is but um when we rolled it out, my husband was like, wow, now you can see how dirty our, our, our couch is. We've had our couch clean one time, and then the cushion of it is removable, so I can put it in the washer and wash it. I just haven't done it again. So it's been cleaned a total of two times. Two times now. Anyways, he's like, now I can see how dirty the couch is. I said, well, the couch is not white. It's alabaster, oyster. Like, it's an off-white color. I know, but I want a new couch. For all my people out there who are literally decorating your house by yourself, making all of the decisions, y'all feel my pain. I don't want you coming up here telling me what you won't do. Y'all see how I just was saying, I don't know if it was earlier in this vlog or in the last vlog, how I was excited because all of the big furniture pieces and the large purchases, and then he goes talking about he want another couch. Don't tempt me with a good time, you know. I will jump to it when you say you want a new couch. But at the same time, why? So I'm like, what color couch do you want? I like the same couch. I just want better fabric. You know what? You can go with a FedEx work that needs to go down yonder. Anyways, let me show y'all the rug. So this is the old one. And y'all can kind of see, I'm trying to cover up my address. Actually, I don't know if I have it on there. Anyways, y'all, as you can see, this one looks like it's a little bit bigger. We're about to go through the whole process. We actually, we rolled it completely out, but just so y'all can see what it looks like, because we have to find the tape to tape it back up. But this is what it looks like. When I tell y'all, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. So it still has like some color in here, um, but it's not like colorful, colorful. But yeah, I'm annoyed. Cause she's, I, the thing I love about it is like the detail of like this part right here is the raised part. I'm so pissed. Like they literally had to let this thing swim in water and take it back out. And I noticed when we were opening this, the, the, um, packaging was wet and I was like, maybe it's just, you know, it was sweating or whatever. No, this baby, this was wet is the tag. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. 
so y'all see this you can tell it it was wet because this is actually coming off and the ink ran so but this is what it looks like i was really excited about it and i think it goes really well in here but again i mean it's definitely not definitely not as colorful as this one it's two opposite ends of the spectrum but it's the exact same brand which i'm really excited about but and then these things came on there so i need to put those back off on there so yeah y'all this that's my dilemma right now is the fact that and i literally just ordered it so it's not like it took forever to get here so i'm not tripping about it i have my rug it's just annoying because I wasn't even expecting it to be here. And I'm like, oh, the rug is here. And then I bring it in and we roll it out and we do this whole thing, move the furniture and all that. Cause the two cement tables right there, they're, can you see it? Yeah, they're not light. Anyways, I think I'm gonna close the vlog out right here. And Sunday's video, like I told y'all, I think I told y'all it's gonna be, my kids are about to walk in. So get ready for noise in five, four, three, two, one. Um, it's going to be a review video of the Caraway Pot and Pan set. And then on Wednesday is when y'all will actually see some of the furniture. And then that next Sunday, more furniture. So, okay, y'all. So, I thought I was gone, but I'm not a lot. Anyways, so me and Bean were in my office. Well, I was trying to work. She was basically destroying it. And she pulled out these swatches that I got from... Pottery barn. So let me show y'all real quick. So I got all my computer stuff down here because I was getting ready to start editing this vlog. But these are basically the colors that I got when I was originally looking for some chairs for our bedroom that I just never got around to. Obviously, I started switching the room around. So this is um, oatmeal. I think this one is ivory and then both of these are light gray um obviously if i was to choose it would be between these two i was thinking that i wanted some white chairs in here but honestly i don't know i also mentioned to y'all that i was going to do gray but i don't know if that's going to be too dark and then um but i definitely like this type of performance fabric because i feel like if st certain stains were to get in it it would be easier to clean that's just my thought i'm not a fabric expert but let me know what y'all think the whole couch thing downstairs i had started going down the path literally within the last hour of okay well maybe i need to start looking online to see what other because i don't know if i ever mentioned this the couch that we have downstairs is not the couch that we originally were going to get we were supposed to do a sectional in our living room <laughs> but it was gonna take too long for it to get here so i was like i'm just gonna do this and then later on down the road we can get whatever it is that we want so i end up settling for it was that either between the 84 inch or the 92 inch modular sofa from west elm and i went with the 84 inch because i thought the 92 inch would be too long hindsight i really wish i would have got the 92 inch but further hindsight i should have just waited until all the pieces came in stock for what we wanted. Having said that, I'm not opposed to us getting another couch, but it's just not gonna be priority right now. I say that and then next vlog, hey, we got a new couch. But my thought is like, I really wanted to start working on light fixtures in the house. I wanted that to be the next thing that we started kind of focusing our attention to attention on, in addition to like the DIY projects around the house, but I was waiting on getting somebody getting the electrician to come out to hang the what you call it the picture light things because i wanted to start ordering lights so they could all do it all at one time but now he just threw me this curveball talking about he wants new furniture and this is not the first time he said that so the fact that he mentioned it with a new rug coming i know he's serious and it's like i mean i'm happy to get what it is that we want but y'all know how it is it just feels like it's another thing on the list to actually do now so i don't know y'all pray for me but let me know those thoughts oh i gotta go get 
Mackenzie's yard sign for graduation. So anyways, I'm officially about to close out this vlog. Anything else related to this room and to um, the couch hole situation, y'all will see as part of when, part of when, y'all will see it as part of Wednesday's vlog. So um, I will talk to y'all on Sunday.